Smart device applications organize and handle structured information of the entities from reality. For instance, reality could be that of a real estate office. There is an underlying interaction structure that could be conceived as follows. For the case of each entity, like real estate property represented by the corresponding transaction, it's possible to select it from a menu and view the list of elements that make up the entity at that time, in our case, list of real estate properties, or view the detailed information of a specific element from the list, in our case, the information on a specific property, and perform some kind of action on the element, like updating it. But wasn't this what we implemented with the work with pattern of Genexus web models? We can see entities from reality, like the real estate office, as resources that we need to handle. Transactions, such as business components, data providers that return structured data, and procedures will acquire significance in this model. Developing an application for smart devices mainly involves working with the work with pattern specific for this generator, which, based on the entities, selected transactions, that will build everything necessary for handling the information. In other words, it'll build the list, the detail of an element, and the actions for an event triggered by the user in the specific languages of each platform. We'll also need all objects of the type generated by the work with, but someone more flexible and not necessarily associated with a transaction. This will enable us to, for example, request data from the user, such as a date, and perform some actions, for instance. It will be an object similar to a web panel. Lastly, we'll need dashboards. These objects function as menus and are mainly used as a point of access to the application. To sum up, implementing a smart device application with Genexus implies working with the work with pattern to browse through related information and handle it all. This is in addition to creating panels for queries, displaying information or requesting data from users as is done with web panels, and creating menus. Lastly, as was the case with web applications, the conceptual model automatically relates the navigations of entities that are structurally interrelated. For instance, with the neighborhood and property transactions defined, in order to respectively represent the neighborhoods in which the realtor deals and the properties managed when both entities are related, the work with pattern will reflect this automatically. Here's how it works. In our KB, we have the property and neighborhood transactions that are not related so far. We've applied the work with pattern to both. We also have a dashboard object that invokes the work with of real estate properties. we see that it invokes the level property, and specifically the list within the level property work with, and that it also invokes the neighborhood work with, and also its list node. Let's look at this work with in detail to notice how it'll change when we later interrelate the entities. We can see that the list node corresponds to this screen that includes a grid with the attributes of the neighborhood that we want to show. So in runtime we'll have, here we see the dashboard. Here we have the list of neighborhoods. When we select one, we can see its detailed information. 
with a correlation found in the general section. The properties are independent. If we consider the detail of one, we'll see its general information with no relation to the neighborhood. We can now define the relation. We go to the property structure and add a neighborhood ID with a request for nulls to be accepted and neighborhood name. Then we save. If we now look at what happened to the neighborhood work with, we'll see that there's a new section. A grid appears with the real estate properties. Which ones? Those of the neighborhood selected. We can see it at runtime, F5. Then once the neighborhoods have been assigned to the properties we had entered, we can go to the list of neighborhoods. And we can choose to see all its details. We can see that two tabs appear that match the sections we saw in the pattern. The first tab corresponds to the general section that contains general information on the neighborhood, and the second tab corresponds to the other section that shows the real estate properties in that neighborhood. Let's see what happens when we select one of them. This takes us to the detail of the work with of the properties, and shows us the detail of that property. In that information we can find the neighborhood, and if we follow this icon, it will cyclically take us to the neighborhood's general information once again. As we saw, if the entities are related, then the navigations offered will also be interrelated, without the need to do anything. This was just a sample of the simplicity and power of the conceptual model. So what's next? Do you want to know how to customize the work with to make it even more powerful and to adjust it to your own needs? Do you want to see how to create panels for extracting and presenting data in a flexible way and to request data from users, among other things? Do you wish to discover the underlying architecture? To be continued.